Hi there, Cancer. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for August. This month begins with the Sun and initially Venus still in the part of your horoscope to do with your resources. And on the second, there's a new moon which forges a stunning angle to Saturn. Now, Saturn is the planet of structure, but it has been tracking backwards for five months in the part of your scope to do with everyday nitty gritty, the organization of life, and also around your health, fitness, and diet. By the 13th of this month, Saturn does start to go forwards, which is a very good thing too. But this new moon really can help you to structure anything that's to do with making sure you're living within your means, you're being as prudent as possible, and also you're making some sensible choices about some of your lifestyle approaches. It really is that good. Now on the third, all of this is helped by the fact that Mars bursts its way in to join up with Saturn back in the sign of Sagittarius. Now this is after a two month hiatus. Mars moving back here, but this time on the front foot going forward, is going to help to give you more physical vitality. And that's something to really savour. In fact, from the 17th of this month through to the 28th, both Saturn and Mars are going to be side by side. And if you're very clear about what you want to achieve and have a clear focus and you don't spread yourself too thinly, you could really put an awful lot of perspiration into something that means a lot to you. However, as soon as the 6th of this month, Venus joins up with Mercury in the sign of Virgo, which for you is brilliant around your communications. Venus here can really give you an extra diplomacy, a silkiness, and it's possible that someone's going to hang on your words, particularly at the start of week two, when Mercury is in opposition with Neptune. There's going to be an opportunity here for you to really capture someone's imagination. If you're really into film or photography, then this can be a time when you can really flourish. But it's also worth remembering that Neptune is the planet of distortion, although the planet of dreams, and it's therefore going to be important to stay mindful that what you say is really what you mean, not that you're intending to be insincere in any way, but someone could get the wrong end of your stick. And this is true at the start of week three, when Venus itself also goes into opposition with Neptune too. If you're fortunate enough to be traveling, going on some kind of adventure, then the chances are these two influences can see you soak up things in a very, very special way. You're going to be particularly sensitive with a heightened awareness to the stimuli that's going to be heading your way. But there is a full moon at the heart of this month, and this full moon is going to be very energising for you, particularly, I think, as far as your work is concerned. And there may be a chance for you to have some kind of breakthrough, but it may require you to be a bit more flexible or open to something that's a bit different, that's not necessarily run of the mill. If you can stay open-minded, then this chance could come up very, very suddenly. So do be open-minded about that. Once the sun arrives in Virgo on the 23rd, I think this is particularly significant. This is going to give you even more uh, desire to interact with people. The pace of life can pick up and it can be really quite exciting. It is true to say that Mercury is going to be shifting just towards the end of this month into a much more reflective area and can give you the chance to just pause and collect your thoughts. But the collection of energy in week three of this month is absolutely stunning as Venus, Mercury and Jupiter all collect together. If you're someone who's got something important you want to say, this can be your time to showcase your talents. Then again, you may build a new website buy yourself a new device, a digital device, or perhaps a mode of transport. Some kind of good fortune can really be to do with how you think or move around in the world, that's for sure. However, as this month comes to a close, it is worth remembering the role of Saturn and Mars. Although Mars eventually separates itself from Saturn, remember Saturn 
is the planet of structure but also of restriction. And because it continues to square up with Neptune throughout this month, and therefore Mars gets caught up in that as well, I think it's uh, worth remembering that the energy that you've had does need to be really directed in a very precise way. And if some of your ideas to make progress on global or worldly aims are a little bit dreamy and not worked out, you may feel that other people aren't so responsive. And your energy does need to be channeled in a very accurate way this month. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.